In today's video, we will be taking a look at some ADA price predictions. So hello, welcome to Operation Crypto and welcome to today's video. Please make sure you do like this video and subscribe to my channel to be notified when I'll be publishing fresh content. So in this video, we will be talking about Cardano. We will have a look at what some other people give us a price prediction. And then I will have a look into the charts towards the end to have a look at some potential investment opportunities and where the price could potentially go. If you do um, want to follow me as well on socials, please make sure you, you like all the links in the comments below. And let's get cracking into this video. Let's get started and we will begin on CoinMarketCap and here we can have a look at all the key statistics of ADA. So Cardano, which is currently ranked number 12 out of all cryptocurrencies, has a coin price today of 0.09422 US dollars. That is equivalent around nine and a half cents. We are at 1.16% up on today's trading. We have a total supply of 45 billion ADA. And out of those, we have around 31.1 billion in circulation. 24 hour volume is just shy of, you could call that $700 million. And the market cap today is around $2.9 billion. So massive currently worth around 278,000 bitcoin if we just scroll down to where we're getting all the volume and you would expect binance to be the top yeah we are getting three percent there against tether we're getting another 0.81 percent against btc so you could say we're getting around five percent of the entire market volume on binance we are listed on a lot of exchanges if you look down it's a widely used token, a widely used coin, sorry. And we are on 186 different pairings. I'm not sure what burger swap is down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. There you go, burger swap. Never, ever heard of burger swap in my life. But as you can see, it's getting no volume down there. But that is ADA and some of the key stats. One final point I just want to have a look at. On the bottom right hand side here is the all time high. And that was $1.33. And that was on January 4th, 2018. And that's pretty much towards the end of that, that insane bull run that we had in 2017, around October, November time. All alts, all, and including BTC, a bit of all time highs. But ever since then, we've been on a downward spiral. If you look at the chart there, it's been just a constant downward. I mean, we've had a couple of spikes, but nothing major compared to what we had back then. So we are still waiting for a Bitcoin bull run to pull everything up. Wait, but now let's have a look at some price predictions, what people are expecting for ADA in the future. Here we have an article on Cointwitch.com, and this does give a, a good breakdown of who's predicting what and, and how much you're predicting. So we will start off uh, at number one, which is Smart Area. Uh, an author, Adam Webb, believes that the future of ADA is bright. And when we claim that one year forecast for ADA token is around $2.50, with potential to reach $10 in five years' time. So just consider where we are at a minute. We're around $0.09. Cents, so that's a long, long way off here. Number two, we've got US Fitted. is um, is a crypto site where a blogger by the name of Martin has some interesting predictions for Cardano. Martin has predicted a super optimistic price point of four hundred and ten dollars and forty five cent for a single ada by the year of 2020 well it is 2020 now it's october we've got three months left for this to shoot up something like i don't know a million percent and unfortunately mate that's not gonna happen that's absolutely ridiculous if it had said four dollars if you put a decimal there at four dollars and ten cents that still would have been absolutely ridiculous for end of year so i don't know where he's managed to pull that price from but that's absolutely ridiculous uh, and number three here, we have Crypto Town. Crypto Town is a website that gives out technical analysis for short-term and long-term predictions for various cryptocurrencies. According to him, Cardano will reach 200% by 2020 to that of a price achieved by end of 2019, which will be roughly 0 0.06, which looks a conservative prediction. So we've already beat that. We're currently at around $0.09. Cent. Uh, that is a little bit outdated, that forecast as in... 2020 we have pushed up since then at around six cents so i mean that was a pretty much conservative estimate and it did happen if we just go down in some other ones now so we have um some cardano predictions by 2023 which is a random year but this is according to cardano this will be the third generation crypto with a goal of overcoming the problems other cryptocurrencies have and we also say that we're gaining traction from users and if we talk to cardano especially 
it can touch two dollars by 2023 and that's quite a very conservative estimate in my opinion i know we're a long long way off there we did a push up to plus one dollars but that was in a mega bull run and there's nothing to say we can't have one of our bull runs again in my opinion i do think that we will get a bull run uh, it's just a matter of time uh, we just quite unfortunate recently that we got a bit of a global pandemic on the go and things aren't looking too good across the markets i mean we have over the last six months since march we've been on a good rise all um, some stocks have been at an all-time rise nasdaq's been all-time high so it's been a strange time and crypto has not exactly followed it to the t we have gone up but not nothing like what happened on the bull and so i think we do need to we need to be um, wary about we've got another bull run coming ahead soon and prices will rise but let's jump over to the charts now and i'll give them um, a bit of analysis on cardano and then i'll jump into some predictions to where i think is a pretty much a reasonable estimate estimate to achieve in the future here we have cardano versus the us dollar this is the binance chart on the weekly time frame and i have pre-marked up the all-time highs which was back in january 2018 and we'll just mark it up as all-time highs and that will give us a good point to target in the future i mean it's a long long way off yet but we do need some points to target what i want to do is just pretty much zoom into current times and just want to mark up a couple of key areas of support and resistance and then we'll jump into some predictions where we could go so i want to just mark a couple of key levels up first and it'll give us a little bit of an area really where we can potentially look at getting some good investments in so if you look at this wick here that happened on the august last year and we rejected off area come if we rejected off area again use it as support around here so it's been quite a, a valid area that one has changed that to the weekly time frame so that gives us a bit of structure in place so we're going to get a couple lower so we can buy anything uh, we've got any key levels down there as you can see we've got a good level there that wick there acted as resistance again come way through and we're currently set on that minute on the weekly candle it's um, a good area of support and we'll change that to weekly again see if we can just get a couple lower in case the market absolutely shits its pants we'll just get the tool again there what i'm looking for is key areas really i think we've got them there if this wick goes all the way back there so you can see the bottom of that wick it acted as resistance come on through resistance again and that act, we actually bounced off that the other day when um we had a bit of a dump in price it wasn't massive i think bitcoin went from around 10,900 down to about 10,300 it was mainly due to the fact that um bitmex is um under authoritarian law at a minute getting a bit of shit thrown at them and and donald trump maybe the covid spike that he potentially got so that could have affected the market it always does unfortunately let's just see if we can get a couple more lower and then i think we're good to go and if we look at this wick here it's probably we might be on my head now but we acted as a resistance there come way through and acted as support there so we have a couple of key levels there let's drop into the the daily time frame and just zoom out a little bit if you look here that was 13th of march that's when bitcoin again had um i think it was around a 57 percent dump and unfortunately everything else followed it that's what happens in crypto um we just mark it up ever since then we've had a good rise if we take the bottom of that wick there all the way up to the top of this year and we've we've done an 809 percent rise so we went from all the way around around what it could go at one and a half cent all the way up to 17 cents so that was an absolutely massive move if you managed to buy some cardano down there um then that is an unbelievable investment opportunity that we might never ever see again in a lifetime so they were good buys to get what i want to do is next you just i'm just going to put this uh, a bearish scenario on this at a minute and i just want to have a look at potential areas where you could get to invest if we do start to come down so i'm going to take that entire move the fibonacci on it and I'll take the double top that we had up around there. And that was around the end of July. And ever since then, we've pretty much done a, a, a decent retracement. We're currently set on this week level here. But if I'm looking to invest in a project and it's made some yearly highs, I usually look at the, the 618 level to potentially buy in. And if we just mark it up there, so we've got some resistance here, um, some supports of you, which could be a good area to get in it around. We could go at seven and a half cents. So in my opinion, anywhere around these levels, if we drop down here, we have some weekly support and a Fibonacci level down at, could call that five cents. So I think anywhere in that box will be a good 
area to buy in. If we do come into this box and and the market's looking bad, then pull your orders and just move them down a little bit. Uh, and that could be a great area to buy in. But what we need to do is zoom out again. So we have a little bit of structure there, and that's where you could potentially buy. Have a look at some targets where we should be looking at. And if you zoom right out, I think this is the next target to look at uh, in the short term. If we just change that to, we'll change that to a nice thick black line. And I think that is the next target that we need to be looking at for ADA. So that is at around 20 cents. So we, we're not a million miles off it, but when that comes, and then this area here is the next level to target, as you can see, big areas of where we've pretty much bounced off. So I think if we get to 19 cent, 20 cent, then obviously inevitably 40 cent after that. But with regards to a price prediction, I mean, look how far we are away from where we've been in the past. I do think that all-time highs will be beaten at some point. These projects are still pretty much new, really. If you look at massive companies like Amazon and Facebook and Google, they all started off down at the bottom and it took them a long, long time to gain traction and, and pretty much harvest the crowds in and the customers. So in pretty much crypto is still in its infancy so these prices will be absolutely obliterated at some point over the next few years in my opinion i do think that we need to get rid of this pandemic we need to get rid of this global expenditure that uh, politicians seem to be just spending at will and i do think that this will be broken i do give quite a conservative estimate that we will breach two dollars by pretty much around 2022 so about 18 months to two years from now i do think that we will be pushing up to these highs and that is a target for me i think i'm going to start buying soon i'm just waiting to see what happens in the market if i'm waiting to see if we swing down if we don't then i still think anywhere at these levels is a good buy for an investment perspective going forward um but yeah that is what i think we will hit two dollars in the next probably up to 2022 um, I'm not quite as mad as $410, which Nobed said at the beginning, which is absolutely ridiculous. You need to you need to have a little bit of reality to it. If you've got no reality to it, then you're just going to end up holding forever and potentially buying something and watch it go down rather than go up. So that is my take on it. That is some entry points and where I think it can go over the next few years. So that will wrap it up for today's video. Please make sure you do like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you next time.